Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a computer mouse button not working. I'll specifically be showing you and telling you how to fix it in this easy tutorial. Let's get right into the video. First and foremost, it could be a hardware issue or it could be a software issue. So before you try doing anything with the actual mouse itself, just check on the drivers on your computer and just see if your computer is running fine with regards to what is involved with the mouse itself. Sometimes computers update themselves and that might cause the issue. So just sort of check out the drivers and see if there was an update installed recently. Uh, and if the mouse stopped working after that update, Update, maybe that's part of the problem but if you have sort of ruled that out and you think that it's a hardware issue with the mouse itself this is what you're gonna do so you're gonna first and foremost and you have to understand that you might have to replace the mouse mice are not meant to last forever so and they do go bad um, so you might have to replace it but I'm gonna show you what you can try first you want to first blow into the gaps over here <laughs> And you can use even a can of compressed air to blow into those gaps there, okay? So just really try and get a lot of air into those gaps. And you wanna you know, go really close to the gaps to get your air to go through there. Then you want to press the buttons multiple times. Maybe there's a dust particle or a dirt particle or some food or something, or even some, some syrupy drink, like some sort of pop that's spilled and dried up in there. So press them multiple times. Listen for the clicking sounds, okay? Even scroll with the wheel, listen for those clicking sounds. If you don't hear a clicking sound, that's usually where the problem is going to lie, okay? Then you can try just moving your cord a little bit, just like this. Just really just kind of move and bend the cord a bit, because sometimes the cord itself is problematic. There might be a kink or uh, some sort of disconnection in the cord. It might be disconnected somewhere, and that might solve the problem. So you want to try that and see if that works first, okay? If that doesn't work, then you have a few other options. You can try cleaning the inside of the mouse. Um, so what you can do to do that is you have two options. You can either use some sort of cleaning solution that you choose to use. Um, I always choose to use uh, isopropyl alcohol whenever I'm working on anything like this. So what you can do is you can sort of get a Q-tip. Okay, you can put it in the cleaning solution, whichever cleaning solution you choose to use. You just rub that Q-tip along the opening over here. See if that works. And if that doesn't work, you can actually take the mouse apart. So you can, you might have to use, remove a screw to do this, or you might have to just push it apart. In this case, I, I believe with this mouse, you just have to press it apart. So I'm just gonna kind of see if I can pry it apart right now really quickly um, by pushing on the sides. And because there's no screw and I can feel it, we're almost there. Um, you might have to pry it apart. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get this side apart. There we go. So. If you pry it apart, you're gonna have better access to the internals, but please be careful. I don't want you to ruin your mouse or lose anything. So if you don't feel comfortable looking at the inside of the internals of a mouse like this, then don't pry it apart and don't remove it. But if you feel comfortable, you can actually remove the actual lid of the mouse. So you can see right here, now we can see the inside of the mouse. I don't want to break this mouse. So I'm just gonna kinda of see if I can wiggle it off. Um, yeah, so anyways, you would open this up and then you can kind of see if these would be working. You can actually take your uh, isopropyl alcohol or whatever whatever clean solution you want to use. I'm just going to use this. So I'll do it off camera here to the side. I'm just going to dip the Q-tip in it and uh, sort of drain it down a little bit. So you can see right here we have a Q-tip with the isopropyl alcohol in it on it, I should say. I'm going to close up this bottle, move it to the side. And what I would do is on the actual unit itself, if there was anything, I would probably clean it off. It looks really clean, so I mean, and this mouse doesn't actually have a problem, but if I saw something, I would probably just lightly, you know, go with the isopropyl alcohol like that. Um, and like I said, you have to sort of use whatever precautions you want to take and whatever cleaning solution you want to take. But at the end of the day, cleaning those buttons right there might be what is needed to get it working again. And if that doesn't work, then at the end of the day, you might just have to get a new mouse. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.